Hello, welcome in this new video. So today we're gonna talk about the full moon in Scorpio happening tomorrow. So it's a full moon that is quite positive um, now that we are not anymore in the retrograde of Mercury and we have entered the sign of Taurus. Um, it's like the energy is getting lighter in a way and even through we still going through a lot of strong challenges and um, it really feel like this energy is calling us to trust to trust and to to not try to resist to fate it is telling us to accept fate, to accept our destiny, to accept our mission, to accept the divine plan that has been done for us. That really is the biggest message that I'm receiving with this Scorpio full moon. And the Scorpio is a water sign. It's very much about discovering mysteries, not being afraid of... Um, looking in the shadow and not being afraid of doing what is needed. Um, it's also about doing you without, without caring what other people think. It's really daring to be the whole you, even if it's annoying everybody else. And this energy can be very empowering. Now we're going to see with the card... The Scorpio is also linked to the energy of death and rebirth. So we are also invited to let go of things that don't serve us anymore in order to reborn in our own new energy in an aligned aspect and an aligned timeline for us. It's also associated, as I said, with mystery, and it's a good time to receive insights about the future, about um, your life, you know, the, 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 the right path, uh, your fate. It's good time for divination work. Queen of Wands. So I did not ask anything. So this is kind of the energy of this reading of this new moon in Scorpio. So I like this card. It's about being balanced. It's about being sovereign, being in your own energy, being creative, not diminishing your own light. It's about being strong, shining, and also being aware of your own shadow. Being aware of your own shadow. Accepting your destiny, accepting the crown. That's a good start. I'm feeling there's a lot of movement also in the air. A lot of movement, energies in action. We are in action. Things are moving. And I feel also it's an invitation to let go of fear, of fear of change, of fear of the future. We are stepping into our own power. Four of Cups. So maybe we've been worried and now we've been asked to not fear, to trust. It's like we've been offering this cup and we've been asked to trust what is in the cup is right for us.
And we have the Four of Pentacles. I'm going to take one more card for this one, just to be sure. I'm having two of swords. There is something about taking decisions, about taking away the, the blinding, um, I don't know what you call the blinding band you have on your eyes, you know. Being aware. I shouldn't use this card anymore. You have also the eyes melting. So things are going to be revealed. What is under the eyes? What is it that you're going to keep with you? And what is it that you should let go? It can be about emotions that you need to let go. It can be about people in your life that you need to let go. Everything that is too heavy for you, that you need to let go. But what are you going to keep with you? What is really necessary? And the Scorpio energy is really good at looking into the dark and see, see with discernment. What is positive for you and what is negative for you? And there is really this idea of not trying to resist. If you see something is negative for you, then you just have to let go. Let go and don't fear what is coming next. You need to trust that maybe this is a sacrifice that you're doing for your own good, you know, for 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 the future for the future you okay carded gems tree of pentacles this card when I when it jumped it jumped a bit like half reverse and I've got also this idea of choose your own I want to say choose your own family no matter if it is your, your tribe or your, your real your bloodline, you know, your blood family, but choose your own family. Take what's good for you and let go what's not good for you. There has been a time of fight, of endurance, something that you've been so tired and now you've been asked to rest. You've been asked to think, think about yourself. It's the end of a long period of suffering or a long period of that heavy burden that you feel you've been carrying with you, you need to let go of that burden now, you know. It feels like this is your time to get the reward. And just under I add the Ten of Cups. It really is your time to get the reward. It's your time to be happy to be in peace, to enjoy, enjoy life. Sadness and isolation. There is always sadness with letting go of something that was heavy. There is always sadness in 
transformation. There is always sadness. We're always grieving something when when we're moving forward, you know. That is part of life. Sometimes it also feels like it is also part of ourselves that needs to that we need to let go of in a way in order to reborn anew. And you see the person on this card is like it's like a rebirth. To rebirth anew. Even the posture here looks like a, a baby in the womb. Can also be a period of isolation, needed period of isolation. But I think it's not it's not the case for everybody here. But it is certainly a time where you focus on your on your own needs and on what you want. Simply love. That's what you be, you, you should be focused on. Love, giving love, receiving love. That's the most important. That's the most important thing in life. No matter what people think, this is the most important thing in life. In the end, when you're old and, and you're gonna die, this is the only thing that's gonna matter, is love. It's the love you've given, the love you've been receiving your whole life. And what you shared. What you give also to other people. Like here we see it looks like a father and his son. What do you give to people? What do you give to the next generation? What it is the legacy that you want to lay to people? Or do you want to express that love? into the world. See, there is still some spiritual research, there is still an awakening in the process here. We're not finding ourselves totally we never actually do, we are all the students in life, you know. We're here for learning things. No one ever knows everything, unless you're already ascended. But then you're not here, so... <laughs> so you don't know everything. You need always to be open, to receive more information, to change your perspective on life and on yourself. Coming together, this card is really close to this one. Even the the green color, which is the color of the heart chakra, coming together, really focusing on love. I know it's so cheesy, but. It's not. In the end of the day, that's only what matters. So it can be a time to strengthen bonds with relationships, all kind of relationships. I'm also feeling forgiveness. There is also a type of forgiveness for finding peace in your heart. Accepting faith, accepting the things 
that has happened that maybe hurted you. Time to heal your heart. Okay. That was quite nice. Thank you for watching this video and I see you soon. Goodbye.